This Tuesday, we celebrate the 41st birthday of the United States. Yes, you guessed it, it's the 4th of July. This celebration dates back to 1776 when the United States became a free, independent nation. Really interesting stuff, but also, did you know that a lot of our founding fathers were weather gurus? And Thomas Jefferson, right before he signed the Declaration of Independence, he actually stopped at a Philadelphia merchant and bought a thermometer, and he took a lot of weather records from that. And even Benjamin Franklin, he was the first one to determine that North American storms move from west to east. Speaking of storms, we've had some pretty crazy run-ins with Mother Nature's fireworks on the 4th of July, especially in Florida, which is the lightning capital of the world. July 4th, 2001 in Tampa comes to mind, when seven people waiting for fireworks on Beer Can Island were struck by lightning. Keep in mind, lightning can strike up to 15 miles from a thunderstorm. And it's not just the lightning you have to worry about. Damaging winds have also halted 4th of July plants. This time, it was back in Minnesota in 1999. It was July 4th, 1999, when a huge storm roared across the Boundary Waters wilderness, knocking over millions of trees, terrifying campers, and trapping them in a tangle of uprooted trees that blocked their way out. Also a little bit further off to the east, a fun fact, in Unionville, Maryland, they set a record, a world record for the amount of rain that fell. It was about 1.23 inches. 1.23 inches of rain is impressive, but it is even more impressive that all that rain fell in just one minute. That's what made it a world record. All this weather talk is going to be really worked up. Is it warming here? You know me, I'm always cold, but in the Northeast, in 1911, they were roasting. It was Boston, Albany, Portland. They all broke all-time records with highs in the triple digits and down across the Southwest. In the late 1980s, temperatures soared into the one teens. This paired with extreme drought canceled fireworks shows across major metros because of high fire danger. And this year, we are expecting extreme holiday heat in the Southwest. And although drought conditions have significantly improved, the active start to wildfire season begs the question, will the show go on? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Keep it tuned to Weather Nation for your latest forecast. One thing I always like to mention, though, too, check on those pets. We have more reports of dogs running away on the 4th of July than any other day throughout the year. You know those fireworks get a little scary. They definitely get a little bit scary, but you can also check with WeatherNationTV.com for your forecast. Tuesday is the 4th of July. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Andy Stein. And I'm meteorologist Tracy Anthony.